What is going on everyone? Samurai Solo and I am back with Marvel's Midnight Suns. We're here doing this mission and it's it's kind of a doozy because I've been getting some bad cards late for this mission. And so we're, we need to get this artifact and shield guy, but we barely even touched him. And uh, Blade stays for one turn only. He's also the next one damage card. Oh yeah, but we can't do that now. We have no hair. All, almost all of my moves besides one is heroism. Which, this does give me one at least, but still, that's not enough. I'm going to have to change something. Let's see, two are targeting Blade. I see a lot of Blade. Let's see, he's targeting Blade again. Two are... Marvel has block at least. This takes out... This would take out both of them, but I need two Heroism. You know what? Take out the one focusing on Marvel then, I think. I'm trying to see if there's something I want to change. Fist of Radiance. I kind of want that, but once I'm able to get enough heroism. That requires three heroism. Man, I am in a bad way just because I just don't have enough good cards right now. Go ahead and get the one targeting Marvel to get a heroism. There's two of them gone. Is that truly your best? I love to hit lifesteal on this guy right now. But we need two heroism for that. This would give us two heroism, and then I could use the last turn doing that. And there's how many guys are left alive? This guy's going to stay alive and do some damage to Blade. That's fine. I'll live with that. Go ahead and heal Blade. Again, he doesn't... He has full health, actually, doesn't he? No one really needs to be healed. Can I still heal people? I, you know what? Actually, I have a little bit of health, right? I'm actually hurting a little bit, so that would heal me. So, yeah, you know what? I'm going to... She has a little health gone, but not that much. Blade has no health gone. Oh yeah, he does have health gone. Yeah, all right, heal Blade. That's fine. Cause he's gonna eat some. He's gonna get some damage to him next turn anyway. So we're gonna need to heal him now. Might as well. Walk in the light. Little overheal there. Not needed, but that's fine. Now, life steal this guy. His shield is finally gone. Hopefully, he can no longer daze either. That would be really nice. Again, I could do that to kill both guys, but then I can't even attack Shield Guy again. I'd rather get rid of Shield Guy for now. He's just been a problem right now. And yeah, Life Steal is overkill. Will Fist of Radiance break his shield too? Fist of Radiance actually does a little more damage. How much damage am I doing with Life Steal? 34 health. 33 health. Probably almost the same. Oh, he's immune to knockback. I bet once we get rid of his shield, though, he's not immune to knockback. So you know what? Maybe lifesteal first, but then I'm going to take damage with blade, so maybe I should save lifesteal for the next turn. So yeah, I'll fist the radiance him then. Plus we have one heroism left, which is nice. Maybe I can whip someone into somebody. That might be what I'll do with the last turn, even though we'll lose a card. There we go. Okay. Oh, we're out of card plays. Um, okay, that's fine. Do I want to redraw anything? Actually, I kind of want to keep what we have. I think it's fine. So I'm going to end the turn. Anything that costs one heroism? This does. We could get rid of one of these guys. I could position someone here to just hit them. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and do that. Two are targeting Blade. Blade's going to use... Oh, Blade is going to get stunned, though. Oh, no, he doesn't have stun. He shouldn't have stun anymore. So, you know what? I'll get the one targeting Marvel so she can keep her block. So, she still does extra damage. So, Marvel, move here. There you go. Watch this. There we go. Okay. And nothing to redraw. 
Although, you know what? I do need to redraw because he saw our heroism cards, and I don't have any heroism right now. Get rid of the lifesteal again. Oh, I did want to keep that for the healing, but... Because I'm probably going to use whip next turn since it's only one heroism. Yeah, I could get rid of him and then bleed him as well again. That's fine. We'll, we'll do that. And it gives us a heroism, right? Yeah, then I can use whip for the next turn. Okay, that'll work. You got a blade. You can eat it, buddy. Don't get dazed. He didn't get dazed, so yeah, just a shield dazes you. Give me some cards I can work with. Yeah, that bleed damage is beautiful. Ah, these delays can be quite frustrating. Infuriating, even. I suppose by now I'd normally be tromping through the warehouse hurling the puny truck at the moon. Don't worry, Bruce. I've got a pair of torn purple pants with your name on them. One health left. Oh, so annoying. Once I get two heroism, I could drop the thing on him here to kill him. Come get it. Oh, Blade didn't move. I thought Blade was going to move. Marvel's only at level 2. I need to get Marvel do something. Oh, does that mean Hunter will take damage from that too? Okay, we don't want Hunter taking damage. So Hunter, you have a move. Use it. Alright, not the prettiest, but it got done. What is this thing? Bad guy crate. Full of bad guy stuff. I know those symbols. From the time of the first hunt. That cliff means barrier. That one almighty. Something something. Gods and demons. So a spooky bad guy crate. Very spooky. Designed to contain powerful magic. Be careful. Got it. Don't cross the streams. Never do. How about we get this thing back to the Abbey and see for ourselves? I'll take two stars. Kid? I mean, I didn't get Hydra bombed until my 10th run with the Avengers. Kid, you do know that I'm a good three centuries older than you, right? Then you've got a lot of catching up to do. Okay, Abbey tournament tonight. Sure about that? Last one got a little heated. The eternal spirits of vengeance take technical fouls very seriously, especially in the fourth quarter. Forget it. Tonight is movie night. It is always movie night. Exactly. Wow, out of jail again? Who made this game? Wilson Fisk? Well, if parking is free, clearly no one from Manhattan. You 
know what they say. All work and no play is how we ended up with Ultron. Come on, you should hang out. I should rest. Another time. this work again okay superlink Nico I sent you a message on superlink uh, open the strategy pause menu using the touchpad then use L1 and I get fine got it I swear I saw the dog in here they just disappear on his own it's gonna pet him anyway superlink Nico hunter you there is there a way for me to... Oh, messages. Oh, I see it now. Hunter, you there, by the way. This is Nico, in case nobody gave you the rundown of how how the spark works. Blade and Cat Marvel just filled us in. Freaky stuff, especially, especially Faustus. And then they all just left me here alone. You should come and hang out. Thank you, Nico, but I am tired. Not Shane hearing that, is she? Come on, Hunter. I know you're awake in there. You just replied to me. Good. You answered. Getting hard to keep finding ways to stay open door around here. And despite what Robbie says, I don't think the staff of one speaks high elven. Blood magic stuff. Cool room. Spacious. Aw, is that bed for Charlie? Yes. So... If you're planning on giving me some sort of brooding code of the stoic warrior speech, I'm immune. Just ask later, Magic. From what I just saw out there, whatever crazy ancient living weapon stuff Caretaker put you through back in the day did a real number on you. We got a lot of work to do. Work? Yeah, talking to people, making friends, basic human stuff. Or quasi-human. <laughs> you're a midnight sun now. One of us. Nico, I was just Hydra bombed. I could use some rest. You and me both. Been bad dreams every night for me lately. I, uh, keep seeing Wanda. She. Never mind. I will meet you outside. Yes! I'll go nuke us some popcorn and you pick out a movie. Oh, and it may just be the two of us. The others went outside, needed to cool off. Really need to hang a fan over that forge. Or maybe crack open the casket of Agent Winters a little? I'm kind of getting the impression Doctor Strange is a little bit of a hoarder. I mean, just because it's magical junk doesn't mean it's not junk. You know what they call an artifact that only works in the pocket dimension once every 10,000 years? Uh, I don't know either, because I don't hoard junk. It's not letting me praise them. I can find you a treat oh, there we go. You're the best, Charlie. Okay, let's look for some more of this essence stuff before we do this. I'm not gonna search the whole entire grounds, but you know. Is that another chest? No, that's not a chest. Oh. That or of a vaga mother. Something. Oh. Okay, let's go do this movie with Nico here. These missions can't be good for caretaker's blood pressure. That's twice now her precious hunter has almost gotten smacked by Hydra. Something tells me you don't have a favorite movie. Well, we can start you out with one of my favorites. I know this entire situation's gotta suck for you. Not just the whole resurrected chosen one thing. I get why facing Lilith won't be easy. 
I was 15 when I found out my mother was capital E evil. That's terrible. What about your father? Uh, what about your father? Was your father there for you when you found out? Uh, dad was evil too. Long story, lots of drama. Um, there was a cool dinosaur. I'll fill you in later. Look, I'm glad my mother is gone, but yeah, at times I just want to hear her voice again. Some days I'd give anything to make that happen. Makes me hate her even more. I did not realize you carried such pain. I just learned to bury it. You think I can afford a therapist on a superhero salary? I'm kidding. We don't get paid for this. Uh, enough about our crappy parents. You missed out on decades of good movies. It's my solemn duty to fill this knowledge gap with the best examples I can provide. So, the first thing you need to know, the glowing briefcase is a metaphor. I won't forget it. Nice, so she loved the activity. Sweater Sky, we got an outfit. Plus seven. Cool. So, what did you think of the movie? I understood more than I should. How? You've been dead for three centuries. I'm not so sure I was dead. Not exactly. I recall a deep slumber, not the void. I... I dreamt. Of what? Of everything. Much of this world is familiar to me. I know it from my dreams. Uh, that's not creepy at all. So, do you know everything? No, I... Uh, think of it like this. I know what a car is, but I have no idea how to drive. You're up to date, but not omniscient. <laughs> Then I'm guessing you don't know much about me. Just what you shared earlier. You're always free to ask. Like, what's the stack of one? Or who were the runaways? I had some questions about your staff. Uh, sure. Uh, but first, um, the basics. The staff of one interprets words or phrases as spells, but it can only cast a spell once. No repeats. Can you tell me how the Staff of One functions? It's, uh, blood magic, so my own blood is required to summon it. You wouldn't believe how many adhesive bandages I go through each year. What about the words you speak? They come true. Uh, kind of. And not always the way I expect. It's like making a wish, but you can never make the same wish again. I had some questions about your old team. The runaways? Sure thing. Were you all heroes who banded together? No, we were normal kids. We saw each other once a year when our parents got together to reminisce. And then we found out two very disturbing things. <laughs> First, our parents were supervillains who sacrificed children to evil gods. Second, each of us had some sort of powerful birthright. Our parents wanted us to follow in their footsteps. What did you do? We ran, but eventually we realized only the six of us could stop our parents and their dark gods. So we faced them and stopped them from destroying reality as we know it. You know, typical kid stuff. Who was on the team? At first, uh, Chase with his mad science gear, Molly, our pint-sized powerhouse, Carolina, the solar-powered sweetheart. Gert had a telepathic link to Old Lace, a genetically engineered Deinonychus from the 87th century. I handled the blood magic, though I didn't understand it much. And Alex? Uh, well, we don't talk about Alex. Where are your friends now? Molly attends Xavier's school for gifted youngsters. Carolina left Earth to marry alien nobility. Gert... She, uh... She didn't make it. After Gert passed, uh, Chase and I had a falling out. The last I heard, he and Old Lace are living at his family home in L.A. As for Alex, uh... He chose his side, and it wasn't ours. He... 
died with our parents. I already asked about the staff, did I not? I had some questions. Go. Guess I can say the last thing. If each magical effect is unique, do you worry you will run out of words? Not really. I only use the staff's power when I truly need it. The rest of the time, I rely on more conventional means. Like, you know, magic. I should get going. Uh, good, good timing. Um, looks like caretaker wants to speak with you, and wow, I should get to bed. Time flies when you're hanging out. I'm glad to see you're using your free time productively. I'm sure you'll want to rest, but we should discuss our next move as soon as possible. Looks like you're finding your way around. Maybe making some new friends. I was planning on getting some rest, but... Things are moving at a frantic pace. For all we know, I'll be landing a jet on the roof with Mr. Stark this afternoon. Not quite like it was in the good old days. Were they really that good? Things don't seem all that different. Change can be a good thing. To stand still is to move back. You got that one from Agatha. She used to say it all the time. I always preferred if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Used to. I am sorry. I should have had this talk with you much sooner. But you should know. Agatha. She's no longer with us. What? Th that is impossible. She was so... Fierce. Indomitable. Or maybe just kind to a fault. The loss could not have been easy for you. Thank you for that. But it's not just my loss. It's all of ours. And what makes this loss even harder to accept is that it was completely avoidable. Agatha died in an accident caused by her protege, Wanda Maximoff, the Scarlet Witch. The Midnight Sun's latest recruit, a powerful spellcaster in her own right. Perhaps the most powerful Agatha and I had ever seen. Wanda's abilities were growing too quickly for my liking. Agatha was determined to help her control them. I tried to caution her, but she would not listen. There was an incident. An accident, I'm sure, but... Agatha was killed. Yes, incinerated in an instant. Not even ash to remember her by. The others were heartbroken, as was I. But I also saw the danger. The threat, if Wanda's powers were left unchecked. So I did what needed to be done. I sent Wanda away, to the Sanctum Sanctorum, to study under Doctor Strange. I know the others still harbor a great deal of resentment towards me for it. So there's, I guess these are the two things, light and dark. I, I'm gonna say, so we're gonna go with the light, the nice, so I guess I should say, so you simply gave up on her. Although I kinda wanna play the middle, but we'll just say this one. Was Wanda so different from me as a child? Was it that easy to send her away? I didn't have a choice. Wanda's powers were beyond even her own control. And this time I had no Agatha to help me. As I had with you. I thought she would be safe with Strange. On that part at least, I was clearly mistaken. Ah, oh, Wanda. Agatha. It seems we've lost them both now. I conjured a small shrine to Agatha's memory on the grounds, hoping to find some solace, a way to move forward. You should pay your respects. Maybe you'll find what I couldn't. Good night, Hunter. Balance. The Hunter can follow the path of light or dark through the choices they make in the Abbey and the abilities they use in combat. Powerful rewards can be unlocked as Hunter moves down either path. Got it. Follow Charlie to act. Oh, we're going to follow Charlie. Let's go, buddy.
Well, hello there. Agatha. You always did have the most remarkable eyes, Hunter. Just like your mother's. Maybe that's why you're the first. The first? To commune with the spirits, of course. <laughs> Is this a trick of some kind? Because I am not amused. No, oh, it's no trick, dear. You're just the first to see me. By now you've heard I had a bit of trouble with my corporeal body. I actually find it quite liberating. You are dead. Always straight to the heart of things. That's my hunter. You seem strangely at ease about this whole thing. After a thousand years of living, you learn to take things in stride. Even death. And what have you been doing all this time? Meet me by the cave just over there. You know the one. The Bloodgate? Caretaker always told me to stay away from that place. I think we can safely lift the veil on a few more of our secrets. <laughs> What's the worst that can happen? Make a save. looking portal is known as a blood gate and you're the only one among us who can pass through it blood gate caretakers handiwork yes Sarah got a little overprotective after the accident with Wanda it's become something of a habit for her I have noticed that what lies beyond is meant for you as much as it ever was for her assuming you're up to the challenge that is you know I am I do, but it's always polite to ask. Ominous well. indeed. Trial of the Elder Gods opened the way to locations barred. Recommended player levels 1, current player level 3. Let's do it. These are going to be solo ones. You're expecting, is it? There was a time when the blood stood within these celestial halls to prove their worth. This particular arena belongs to a goddess who often favored Sarah, Ashtor. Sarah, caretaker, was here? Nothing ever comes easy, dear. The Elder Gods felt their descendants needed to earn their blessings, which is why they created these trials to begin with. Trials? I should. This entire realm exists for that purpose. Trial by combat, with no chance of outside interference. And this is my challenge. Yes, but I may have found a loophole they never considered. Why don't you try summoning your four-legged friend? <laughs> Gods are responsible for a great many creations, including your faithful companion. I think even they tend to forget that. Good luck, dear. Okay, defeat all enemies to complete the encounter. As the goddess of balance and order, Ashtor was sometimes called the giver of justice. You can expect a fair fight, or at least her idea of one. The pack, when taunted, all other shadow hounds will be taunted. There's a lot of them, so one, two, three, four are targeting Charlie. That I can see one, two, three, four, five are targeting me up. Then be that one, so I think that's actually four for Charlie now, right? One, two, three, five for Charlie. 
Okay. Well, we have a quick attack to get rid of one. We have a knockback too. We also have these things we can take advantage of to take out a couple of them. Like this one, for instance, can get... I think you can probably only hit one. Okay, we can do two here, at the very least. Could probably use this too for that. So I'm trying to think ones where we can't really use anything to hit. Um, that's a knockback, so we could... That's a card play, though, doing it. But we could use two for one kind of deal. So... Yeah, maybe I could position here, remove my character, right? I'm probably going to have to. No, wait, I don't have to move. So, yeah, we can get rid of two of them right here. We'll cost a card play, but two are gone right off the bat. What does Hal do real quick for Charlie? Let me see that. Apply two mark to each enemy in the area. Mark refunds a card play when KO'd. Oh, okay, well, we can refund the card play. Well, we're gonna. that's what we're going to attack. We're going to attack these two guys right here. And then if we KO that one as well, there's another card play refunded. So yes, let's go ahead and... Wow, so it's got infinite range. You can go wherever you want to go with this. But let's just go right here because we're going we're gonna to go ahead and do this right here. So I won't count as a card play. Oh, I'll mark the further one back there. I mean, that's fine. Oh, he's in the way now. You got in the way. I mean, I can do this one still, though. So I guess it's not a big deal. Okay, we still got two of them. You were too weak for this fight. This is a quick attack, so this will get refunded. So we don't need to, this. We get we get a re, we'll get a refund anyway from this guy, no matter what we end up doing. So let's not waste a quick on that. I could hit these guys with the rocks, but of course I can just do an attack so I don't have to waste it. I'm thinking... Let's get the guy, like, right here. This one. Because there's really no way I can get him with anything. And of course I have whip as well, where I can take out two with one with the whip. That does cost one heroism. No, I don't need two heals. I'm going to get rid of one of the heals. Your mother abandoned. Vulnerable, increased damage taken from attacks. I mean, they're all just regular enemies, are they not? It does 18 damage, though. Let's just hang on to that in case we want to. Now, I have three heroism, or four heroism, excuse me. So I could whip one into the other. We'll lose a card, but I don't mind so much on that, but maybe we'll wait. With this, we can take out one of them. I don't think Charlie has the ability to do this, does he? Or does he? Hell yeah, do it then. Go ahead and take him out. Oh no, it did to me. That's fine. Okay. Three left. And then I could also do this guy. There's two left. Two heroism still is what I'm saying. I did not see this guy right here in front of us. Yikes. And there's still three enemies. Shit. Okay, well, I can take one more out. And then whip two of them together. And then we're going to take a little damage. Uh, are they all focused? This one's focused on Hunter. Oh, we get the car play refunded, though, if we, use, if we kill him. So I should use the whip to KO this one, right? It should refund our card play. So I would get rid of two of them. Leave me with one heroism left. And then I could do that. And then use my maul. When that maul costs one. Maybe I could ref We'll see. We'll see what we can do. Right now, let's go ahead and use the whip then. We're going to lose something here. So let's just wait. I want to redraw, but I'll wait. To I'll let us lose a card. Whip this guy. We should get the card refunded. My Our card play is my understanding. We'll see if that's what actually... Hold on. This can hit the guy on the left. Yeah. Okay. So go ahead and whip. Is it refund? Feel my call. Yes. Okay. So yeah, we got this. I can take him out with that. 
And then Maul with Charlie. Well, it does cost one heroism, so I can't actually... One's going to end up living still. Because I'll be out of heroism. I could try for a regen and hope we get a regular attack. That's what I'm going to have to do. I don't know if there's going to be reinforcements or not. Alright, I'm going to have to redraw. Give me a quick attack. Eh, that doesn't help me. Alright, end the turn. Oh, is there two left still? Damn, I can't see a damn thing. I'm blind. There's two. <laughs> Compared to our world, these hellhounds are nothing but mindless beasts. Don't hesitate to strike. They certainly won't. Fortunately, I'm not going to be able to hit him in anything. Or am I? Could I? I don't want to waste a move and then I can't. So I'm just going to go and just kill him. It's the only quick one I have, right? Once again, the lift servants fall. Go ahead and draw a card on the KO. I am impressed. Oh, that was easy. Good girl, Charlie. Oh, and you too, Hunter. You finished this try, but don't worry. The other gods are waiting. Cool. Yeah, I bet if we would have done it in one turn, it would have been three stars. There probably was a way to do it in one turn. I just probably didn't think it through better, but I'm, that's good enough. I'm happy with that. So it's pretty cool, these little challenge things. Um, I'm guessing you can bring, you'll can you be able to bring Charlie along for them, which is pretty cool. I wonder if Charlie can come along for the regular missions. Got an Elder Artifact Moon Seal. Faded Journal, Pay Wanda's Journal, February 13, 2020. Agatha was just as surprised as I was when it happened. No shrines out on the grounds. The blood magic, you're not supposed to just walk right in there. But once again, well, here we are. She told me not to worry, but how can I not worry? Trying to gain the blessing of Oshter without facing her trial. I didn't even know what I was looking for, really. Just some way I could help. Whatever, at least now I can get into Magic's room when she locks me out. Ah. This looks like Oster gifts allows magical locks and gates to be opened. Open will allow you to access new areas of the Abbey and its grounds which are locked by magical means. Sarah is right to be wary of this place. But it's your birthright, and I think after everything you've been through, you can handle it now. The two of you, as well as your mother, are the last of your kind. The blood. Your lineage follows an unbroken line to the old gods themselves. And if you call upon them, you might just find they're actually listening. They won't work miracles for you, but their blessings can be quite useful in the right circumstance. Why don't you ask the goddess Ashtor for her aid in dealing with that barrier over there? Words of power are magical incantations the hunter can use on the abbey grounds to use the word of power hold R2. Blessings of the goddess. That's a chest, but we probably won't be able to open it. But it does get added to the map though. After all this time. It's still just as beautiful as the first time I laid eyes on it. It's hard to believe Lilith and Caretaker brought this place all the way from Transia. 
Of course, it was no coincidence that they wound up so close to Salem. This area is particularly attuned to the forces of magic. That's why the Elder God's influence was so prevalent here. And why our sanctuary here has remained all but impregnable over the centuries. <laughs> and now I'm rambling on like an old Sorcerer Supreme. Why don't you come see me in the library tomorrow night? Oh, and... Let's keep this just between the two of us for now. I'm afraid Sarah... Uh, caretaker... Isn't ready to see me yet. Good night, Hunter. Nice. Not to explore the Abbey. I want to do it right here, but we're going to do a whole episode of just like exploring the grounds eventually. But we got Gamma Cool stuff here. Of course, we got to pet our friend. Please come to the forge at your earliest convenience. Again, that's Hunter to the Forge. Oh, got some stuff Thank here. Uh, strange out. <laughs> strange. Let's see if we can find any of this essence stuff. Yep. So we could just explore all around for what we can find. I'm sure there's going to be little mysteries and things in chests and whatnot. But again, we can't open the chest now. I'm sure those keys are something we're going to end up getting later. Maybe you can find keys out on the grounds. I'm not sure. All right, let's go ahead and go to the... Let's look out here real fast. Wait, is that some essence over here? It sure is. It is oh, no, it's not water rod. Ones. Barely a stone at all, this blue-black topaz almost seeps through the fingers when held. It smells strongly of a tide pull and if held to the ear of the sounds, sounds of the sea. Huh. Maybe it's an artifact to place. We don't need to lounge right now. Okay. Moon Knight hides his true identity behind his cloak and shadow. This card represents deception, but also creativity and the unconscious. Tarot cards, 22 of them to find. Okay. There's another one, the star. Nova rises up into the starry night sky, surrounded by stars that represent the support of his team. The card symbolizes serenity and hopes of the future. Cool. Hunter, just in time. His royal weirdness and I were deciding what to do with that nasty little Hydra gift box you found. Ah, yes. The spooky crate? The very one. Though it is far from any mere container, I assure you. I am detecting powerful emanations from inside. If this is a sign of what Hydra is after, I fear we are all in grave danger. My offer still stands. I could fly the thing up and nuke it in orbit. Only way to be sure. Or we could open it, Tony, and perhaps use the mystical energies I sense inside to our advantage. Yeah, I heard a we in there. <laughs> Green goopy gamma serums are one thing. I'm not opening boxes full of mummy curses you don't have to hunter if you'll allow me your second funeral boss if hydra is now working to acquire mystical antiquities then our situation is very dire indeed we need to find a way to gain the upper hand and you think you can do it with whatever's in the container tony has one of the greatest scientific minds that i've ever seen I, of course, have an unparalleled understanding of the mystic arts. I have no doubt that we can find a way to research whatever we find in there and have it work in our favor. I just wonder what it could be. I want you to make something powerful. I hope the two of you create something powerful. I want to stop Lilith quickly and decisively. As I said, I'm sure it can help us. I just need to convince Tony to set his ego aside. 
His discomfort with the esoteric nature of the arcane might be a problem. But Tony's eccentricities aside, I know you can make this work. Right now, with the sanctum out of my reach, I'm fighting with one hand tied behind my back. It, metaphorically, that is. If I can find items to research, I can give the Midnight Suns every possible advantage over Lilith and her disciples. I look forward to seeing what you come up with. Me too, Hunter. Now, all this talk is going nowhere unless we can get this container open and study what's inside. Approach the anvil, Hunter. We do not have time to spare. I just hope you brought me something interesting. Ooh, research projects at the fort and generate significant resources for use and ability upgrades and crafting. Nice. Let's do it. By the hoary hosts of Hoggoth, I, I can hardly believe it. What? Is it worse than you expected? No, it's totally unexpected. It's the Eternity Dagger. This was in a place of honor in my bedchamber in the Sanctum for years. The Sanctum Sanctorum is no common domicile to be burglared. These barbarians have no idea what they possessed. Or perhaps they did. Maybe these artifacts are exactly what Faustus and my mother were after to begin with. A distressing thought. If they had my dagger, then who knows what others of my priceless possessions have passed through their greedy fingers. The cube of nothingness. The tear of Prophia, and most worrisome of all. Your toothbrush? You, uh, had a little coffee thing going on this morning with your breath? Oh, Tony. Sorry. Doc's right, Hunter. I drank three glasses of holy water just to walk through the Sanctum's front door. This is like a doomsday vault for all sorts of supernatural nastiness. We need to put a lid on this mess. Pronto. I believe Carol is already working on it. At last. Now that this artifact has been returned to its proper owner, we shall see if we can make use of the mystic forces contained within. Fascinating. Nice. This artifact is mundane in every conceivable way. Research projects take one day to complete, but grant powerful rewards like room upgrades, combat items, and hero outfits. You know, I really could do just as well without okay. wandering back there. How else am I going to steal your So this crafts powerful single-use combat items, increase ability options, and earn an additional ability when analyzing gamma coils. Ooh, that's nice. Spin moves to knock back enemies in combat. Two in a row. This is a major breakthrough for you. I'm so proud mm. I could be here for this. Gotta complete three missions with Blade. We can't do I'm that one. Glad you're we can do either one of these, though. Gotta do one more with Blade to be able to unlock that. So, this increases ability options and earn an additional ability. I kind of like this one, honestly, over the... I mean, we're going to get both, of course, anyway. This one lets you... The combat items sound interesting. I know there's a thing for that. I think I'm going to get this one first. Well, whatever mission I do, it's probably going to be a Gamma, so it doesn't really matter one over the other. Uh, you know what? I think combat items would be good. Take it back. We'll go to that one first. Cool. And then we do have a Gamma Coil. So how's the whole saving the world thing going? How does this look? Okay, so let's see what we got. We have restore an ally to full health. Cure. I'm guessing if you're maybe afflicted with something, like bleed or something maybe. But then you take 17 damage. It is a dark heal. So does that mean it benefits more from a dark ability, but I can still use it maybe? Because no big deal. I'll, we could still, Or, you know, we could, get, we could get one of these because, remember, this will let us also... Um, do the skill thing where we can combine. I wonder what the proton beam does at that. I'm kind of interested to actually, I think I'm going to get the, the photon beam because I'm interested to see what it does if we, uh, what the upgraded version of it would do. If this thing behind. <laughs> Tony is working. Cool. Hey, Hunter, uh, got a sec to spare? 
We're gonna have to get off here already again soon. Time's already almost up. Uh, we're gonna speak to him after, but let's go. I wanted to see what I could, what the upgrade. Is. We might even have enough stuff for it, but let's just see if we do. Ready for more? So you need to have three abilities of the same, not just two. Three has to be. So the photon plus. So it just increases the width, which I mean, it could end up becoming a really cool thing, though. You know what I mean? It sounds like, yeah, it's kind of weak, but the width could end up coming in handy if there's another enemy slightly out of the way. Hopefully it's a decent amount and it's worth it. We've got plenty of tricks for old dogs. No excuse. Yeah, an additional unequipped copy of this ability. So on this one, you get on KO draw a card. That's actually pretty nice. So you draw three, you draw four on that one. I, I should have paid attention to what you got. But that's fine. This will work. So we can increase the width. Might as well do it since we have it. Cool. All right, then. All right, guys. We are going to go ahead and stop right here. And when we come back, we will speak to Robbie and then just continue on. But that's going to do it for this one. I do appreciate y'all watching. I will catch you all next time. Hope you all have a great day. Stay safe. Take care. Peace.